Okay, I've had it. There's only two good fishing games for the PlayStation 1. Those being Action Bass and Big Ol' Bass 2. Everything else is trash. I've wasted too much time and effort on this venture for nothing. I've officially reviewed all fishing games for the PlayStation 1 and today is the last two. Because they're so awful and literally the same piece of crap game, I'd rather just merge them into one video and be done with it. Fuck this fishing game. Fuck all these fishing games. They're the worst. Fuck Relax. I thought these were going to be good. Just look at the cover. Look at the company. They used to do the Harvest Moon games back in the day. How the hell did they make one of the worst fishing games of all time? Well, they did twice. So let's compress this review into five sections. Intro, Real Fishing 1, Real Fishing 2, Overall, and Outro. There's not much else to talk about between these two other than a rant about for four to five minutes. So, the first game started out promising, with a neat little intro. You see a fishy in the water, and then it eats the camera like a worm. Then it craps you out and the logo appears. Is this poetry? I have several questions. So the game quickly takes a nosedive into the depths of Hades from the awful controls to the grotesque graphics with glitches constantly occurring during fishing that got in the way of an already poorly designed fishing game. I mean, you don't even get a tutorial or anything. You must figure things out for yourself. There's only one mode. What is the point? The fish never bite, and if they ever do, the line just breaks. Oh well, try it again. Except you have no idea how to reel it in the fish because the line breaks quicker than a Ford pickup truck. Based. So then I tried more and more and more and more and more. The line kept breaking. So I tried relaxing the line. The hook comes off. Then there's times where the fish takes the bait and leaves you with nothing, or the fish simply lets go. There's literally no way to tell what's going on, as there's no UI whatsoever. So you can't tell if the tension is high or what the distance is between you and the fish. Also, the controls are not that good. X to cast slash reel, triangle to change settings, and the D-pad for movement. But every time the fish gets off the hook, you need to navigate the menus to reset the hook. There's only one location to fish at, at first anyways, and it sucks. The graphics are atrocious, just look at the awful design. The perspective is awful. I can't tell what angle things are. I can't even tell where the fish are because they're so tiny because they have those little silhouettes like an Animal Crossing. Screw this game. After trying to play it for an hour and never catching a single fish with no help from the game, I gave up. Time to move on to the sequel. It can't get worse, right? It can and it will, and here it is. The sequel isn't much better. They did make the graphics nicer, but that's about it. The game still controls awful and there's no explanation for anything. Also, there's only two locations now, a freshwater lake straight out of Friday the 13th and a generic island in the ocean, both featuring fish that don't ever bite. 
No, seriously, I wasted an hour and only had one bite, but get off the hook. Honestly, I'm starting to think developers just put out these games for the craps and giggles out of it. And there's like, what? 14 of these fishing games in for the PlayStation 1? We've had Action Bass, Bass Landing, Monster Bass, Big Bass Fishing, Bass Rise, Salt Water, Sports Fishing, Big Bass World Championship, Big Old Bass 2, Black Bass with Blue Marlin, EA Sports, Championship Bass, Fisherman's Bait, a Bass Challenge, Fisherman's Bait 2, Big Old Bass, and now Real Fishing and Real Fishing 2. Out of the 14 fishing games for PlayStation 1, only two are good. Some are mediocre, and the rest are garbage. What a world we live in. Well, this was a fun little adventure. Not really. I've become more agitated with each game, and I'm starting to hear voices tell me demonic things in an exotic language from the darkness. But hey, you would also go insane in the membrane too, if you had to review every single fishing game for the PlayStation 1 to only find crap around every corner. Honestly, I'm thinking of not ever doing anything like this again, especially the Cabela's games. I'm supposed to review every Cabela's game for the PS2. I need to start making more positive reviews. I need to focus on games that are actually good, fun, and would make me happy, and I'd be happy to review them. I reckon it's time to get back to the grind after a well-deserved break, that is. So yeah, Real Fishing 2, it sucks as well. At the end of the day, Real Fishing 1 and 2 left me highly disappointed. I was expecting them to be good. They looked good. The publisher name was Natsume, for crying out loud. But sadly, looks can be deceiving, and we found more garbage fishing games. Oh well, that's it for this video. See you all later.